Hey there Wargamers, this is Justin from Brush for Hire. I'd like to take a minute today to talk to you guys about some brushes that I was sent from Back to Basics, a company from Australia, and give you guys some information about what I've been doing with these. Previously, the brushes that I was used to using were uh, brushes from the Min er, Citadel line. I'll turn these guys so you can see them. And those were what I, thought were what I thought were the epitome of brushes. I hadn't been told anything different. The guys at Back to Basics offered to send these to me to, to try out and do some videos with, and unfortunately I haven't got any videos done, we've just been kind of booked, but I have had some time or some opportunities to work with these brushes. I've painted a load of miniatures for Brush for Hire, and I can tell you that these are definitely a better quality, and of the brushes that they sent, the three that are open right now, which are the small dry brush, the robots and monsters, and the de extreme detail brush are the ones I use the most particularly this one right here. Uh, so this is the, my favorite brush from the line. They sent me the Robots and Monsters one. It's got a slightly larger tip, but it definitely holds the tip really well when painting. And I've honestly done more detail work with this than the extreme detail brush they sent because it's it's been the workhorse for me. It does all of it and it's, it's a good package. One of the things I picked up from Austin and Lester from over at Austin Paint Job is the Masters Brush Soap. I've been using that and these, that's, these are the first brushes that I've used that soap on and it's definitely helped to keep the tip and help prevent the bristles from you know fraying or coming off and it's definitely kept the quality of the brushes high. Another good feature of these brushes is that they're 100% pure Kalinsky Sable br or brushes and as opposed to a brush like this, a nylon brush with a little bit of maintenance, uh, again using the, the Masters uh, brush soap, um, these are going to last a lot longer whereas these nylon ones, they're, they're not very good quality and they're not going to last very long. Uh, another awesome feature for these, for anyone who travels, uh, these de are compact as you can see. The top three are, are currently closed and the bottom three are not. So when I travel back and forth uh, to Austin's place in mind to drop off models or work on projects, these definitely become compact and are protected. So closes, a little bit small in a pin that can fit in your pocket and also good if you go to conventions or any kind of painting competitions for being able to transport. Uh, along with folding up it's got a little hole down here so no moisture sits inside there it's able to, to kind of escape if there was any kind of moisture build up from where you put your brush in. So as far as performance goes these brushes have definitely made it to where I could take my detailing to a whole nother level. Being able to do things such as edge highlighting has definitely been a lot less of a headache when you've got bristles that hold a fine point and carry paint, good paint flow. So in terms of price, you're probably looking at paying between $15 and $25 for a traditional Kalinsky Sable brush from Windsor Newton or the Raphael series. These brushes are not going to run you more than $10 to $13 each, and if you're trying to get the whole set of six, you're looking at paying right around $60, which is definitely a good value for the quality of brushes that you're getting. So if you guys out there are looking to try and use some good quality brushes for a price that won't break the bank, I definitely suggest checking the guys out at backtobasics.com. The link to their website will be in the description below. And if you're not looking to get the whole line, I would definitely recommend the Robots and Monsters brush. That's my favorite one, and I've used it the most. It's definitely been my workhorse. And I will leave you guys with some photos of miniatures that I've used these brushes exclusively on. Once again, this is Justin from Brush for Hire. Thanks for watching and happy working.